um, as your finger. So. So, in the right hand, you've got the original theme, and it turns into triplets. Um, before I uh, take, but we'll, we'll go back to that. tune but you're in the Chalamet register so really I mean it's piano it's piano but it's espressivo so um, really
want that floating sound but getting really really intense towards um, bar 68 so here again uh, that um, the little afterthought You, you put before you climax it. And so the next um, four or five bars, um, again, you are, um, it's more of an afterthought again, um, but you sort of uh, relax into the F. So. to the piano. Just, uh, yeah, as soft as you can, but make sure that D's not sharp. Um, and make sure you get a decent B flat at the end. So either use the covered fingering or even use the side B flat. That doesn't make much of a difference on my instrument. but And when you're doing the piano, don't dissipate the sound. Don't think, oh, just because it's soft, I have to lose support. Really, really center that sound. You do want a quiet intensity, um, but you don't want it loud. So see if you can concentrate the sound and make it soft. So the same support you would use for a forte, but uh, soft. So. second movement um, I hope I haven't taken up too much time but I bet I have but maybe better enough better good better to take up too much time than to um, leave anything out so that's my few cents on the second movement uh, please join me um, when I analyze the third movement um, and once I've analyzed all four movements of this sonata I will um, then give you a full performance of the sonata with the accompaniment uh, putting my mouth where my clarinet is <laughs> so thank you uh, for your attention um, on the second movement of the first sonata and I look forward to seeing you again for the third movement <laughs>